Renaissance, with the Ontario Canada. Noah Schumann, Hillsborough, Missouri. Paul H. Massey, with the Ontario Canada. Jack Shanahan, Kirkwood, Missouri. Joe Sierva of St. Louis, Missouri. Daniel Fleer, St. Louis, Missouri. Connor Sherman, Warrington, Missouri. Joshua Rathbun, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Kyle Richardson, Jackson, Missouri. Cannon Carr, Poplar, Missouri. Dylan Tate, you're in Missouri. Noah Hargraves, O'Fallon, Missouri. Drew Pulley, San Luis, Missouri. Kale Wilson, Jefferson City, Missouri. Griffin Cato, Whitby, Ontario. Lane Axtetter, Bessis, Missouri. Good afternoon and welcome to Vikings Baseball on live stream STL. We are live from Dave Oster Field in Hillsboro, Missouri, home to the Jefferson Vikings. They're going to be taking on the State Fair Roadrunners, Ray Halbrook, Drake Beekman all the way to the far for me and here, Brian Kaplinger here, guys, going to have a fun one here as uh, we open up opening day, even though even though there's been quite a few, few games that have been right. played here for uh, for Jefferson College. Uh, we're taking a look at a, uh, a 12, or a th I'm sorry, a 13 and 6, no, no, that's, uh, that's State Fair, yeah. a 12 and 5, five. record uh, going in for uh, the Jefferson uh, Vikings, and uh, should be a fun one here. They've already taken two at State Fair, but uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on here, uh, Brian. Yeah, so again, in for a great game, conference game here between the Roadrunners and Vikings. Uh, as you said, 12-5 and five coming in. This is technically the first home game for the Vikings, even though they've had a couple scheduled, whether it's due to weather or just some other circumstances. Haven't been able to play at home yet, Drake. Roadrunners coming in 13-16, and 16, so a few more games under their belt, but uh, the last two time, the last game these both of these teams played was against each other on Thursday, and you have a 10 nothing win and an 11-1 win for the Vikings, and so it looked pretty dominant the last time we saw them. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, we got Dylan Tate on the bump for the Vikings. His totals so far, he's got 15 innings pitched. He's got 16 hits against, 10 runs against, so that ERA is even at 6 as we're about to get underway. Yeah, and so first pitch swinging down the third base line. That is going to be Logan Miller for the Roadrunners. Thinking about two, but it's going to pull up. So give him a leadoff single to start. Uh, and here we go right away. Uh, let's go through the lineup for the visiting Roadrunners. You've got Logan Miller leading off in center field. Dwayne Wimberly, who is now coming to the plate. Carter Jenkins batting third. Jaden Little. Then you'll have Sam Russo, Sam Pauley, and Malachi Antle, Tanner Grant, and Ryan Raton. First pitch is a strike. Yeah, great start there by State Fair, getting that single. It bounced off the third base bag and dribbled into the to the outfield there. So a solid single to start the game. Swinging early, get a foul ball, just dribbled up the first base line right there for Wimberly. And Wimberly coming in on the day, batting 352, 21 RBIs on the season. So not a bit of a slouch there, Drake. Yeah, very solid number two hitter, I'd say. There's a, there's a reason he's that far up the lineup. Ball taken outside. We have a 1-2 count on Wimberley. We'll get to our defensive positions here in just a moment for the Vikings. Another pitch outside. So let's go over those defensive alignments right now. In left field, you have Hunter Sherman. In center, Joe Severo. And right field, Jacob Miller. At third base, Cole Ian Tomasi. Ian Tomasi. Uh, team, yes, there easy, we go. Easy I'm for us struggling, to say. Struggling, right? right. Easy, easy to say. Ian Tomasi there at third. Greg Lachance at short. We have Henley Parker at second, and you have Jack Shanahan at first. Behind the dish is Ryan Stevens and Dylan Tate pitching today. Runner takes off. It's going to be ball four, so no throw by our catcher Stevens. So here to start the game, two on, nobody out here in the top half of the first for the Roadrunners. Thanks to all of you who are watching via YouTube, 
Twitter, X, uh, Facebook, uh, the TKDS app, or those of you following us on Mixler. Uh, Vikings in their home whites, Roadrunners with the gray pants and navy blue tops. Great first pitch there by Dylan Tate. The last at bat, he had a couple that were super far outside. So getting one right down the middle, kind of reestablishing his throw there. Very nice pitch. Yeah, Carter Jenkins up to the plate. Third baseman for the Roadrunners today. Swings and misses. Quickly in an 0-2 count here. If you're looking as Tate, you really want to try and maybe get this strike out here. Set yourself up maybe for an ending inning double play. Quick pickoff attempt gets away from the shortstop out into center field. And so the runner at second is going to advance on that throw. Yeah, pickoff was just a little too high there for the shortstop to, to handle. So it hit the top of his glove, unfortunately for him. Bounces into center field. So the second baseman, there, or the man on second, Logan Miller, is going to take third base with ease. So 0-2 count. Foul tip right back into the mitt. Caught. That is going to be a strikeout for Tate. And that's going to bring to the plate Jaden Little. Jaden Little is the designated hitter tonight. He's got a 403 batting average. I think that's pretty good. Probably uh, the best man to, to be the cleanup hitter. That's it. First pitch taken. Strike one. Again, Tate doing a good job trying to get ahead early so far. He does have the one walk here in the first inning, but so far hasn't hit him yet, looking for maybe a ground ball double play. Nice breaking ball, gets the swing and miss. So again, quickly finding himself, Tate, that is ahead in the count at an 0-2 count for our batter, Little. Runner off, throw to second, is going to skip over. Runner from third is going to advance on the play. So give the Roadrunners a run on that. Swing and miss there by Little. So two outs. Our score one nothing here in the top of the first. Yeah, again, just a little offline with the throw down to second there from the catcher. It ended up going to the left a little bit, so it allowed Miller to score, give the, the Roadrunners a quick one nothing lead. First pitch swinging by Sam Russell, the left fielder for the Roadrunners. It's going to be a foul ball down the third baseline, almost right at the dugout of the Vikings. Swinging again right away, fouled it straight back. It's going to be a Master Tech Auto Glass foul ball. We're in good hands with Master Tech. Yeah, I'm sure, sure. I, was, I was trying to find that foul ball as it was going over. My car is right in line over there, so. I was going to say, that was headed for the parking lot in a hurry. Swing and miss. Strike three. That is going to end the top half of the first. Roadrunners do push across one, so one nothing score as we head to the bottom of the first. This is Vikings Baseball on live stream STL. Girardi Agency, Missouri Farm Bureau, we're dedicated to safeguarding your present and securing your future. Whether it's auto, home, life, health, or business insurance, we offer comprehensive coverage tailored to your needs. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Our office has been located in Hillsboro for over 30 years. Please contact our office today for a quote, 636-797-5800. Hi, this is Bill Ribble with APB Storage. APB Storage is a locally owned and operated family business that offers the best storage solutions in the Jefferson County area. Our electronic gates give you 24-hour access to your storage unit, and our state-of-the-art security system provides peace of mind and security. All of the units provide easy access drive-up doors to allow a stress-free way to your unit. Come see why people prefer the APB experience. Give us a call at 636-464-5629 or visit online at apbstorage.com. Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your passion in business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today.
We are back here for the bottom half of the first. Vikings going to be stepping to the plate in the first half. Let's go over the lineup real quick. Um, leading off is Joe Sierro, Greg Lachance, Ryan Stevens, Cole Ian Tomasi, Jacob Miller, Daniel Fleer, Jack Shanahan, Henley Parker, and Hunter Sherman. So we, as we get set here, pitching for the Roadrunners is going to be Tate Robertson. And we'll go over defensive alignments here shortly. First pitch, swing and miss. Down 0-1. Looks like the hitters are swinging early today. Ball taken just outside. Defensive alignment for the Roadrunners is going to look like this. Russo in left, Miller in center, Wimberly in right, Jenkins at third, Pauly at short, Retone at second, Grant at first, behind the dish is Antle, and again, Robertson on the mound. Robertson missing again. Count is three and one. Tate Robertson seems to be their ace when you look at uh, the stats on paper. He's got 30 innings pitch total. He's got five wins already on the season. Ground ball down the third baseline, just foul. Has an ERA of 2.1, so uh, there's not really <laughs> anyone else that, that comes close to that for the State Fair Roadrunners. So we're, uh, we're getting the, the Roadrunners best on the mound for the Vikings here in this first game. Absolutely. Swinging hard ground ball to short, backhand over to first and going to retire him. Good play there. As we have the 6-3 in order, it's going to be Pauly over to Grant. It's going to bring up Greg LaChance, shortstop for the Vikings. You hear a little bit of the music in the background there. Got to get that, that walk-up music right, set the tone. Swinging at the first pitch, drive. Got a base hit there for LaChance. And just a beautiful swing. Coming into the day, he was batting 411, so no surprise there that first pitch he's taking advantage of. If you're going to throw it over the plate, I'm going to put it right back up the middle, and, and Vikings have their first runner. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be throwing that pitch to LaChance anytime <laughs> soon for, uh, for any future at-bats. Pickoff attempt over, and LaChance is back. At the plate is going to be Ryan Stevens, catcher for today. First pitch taken up at the letters for strike one. Stevens looked back and goes, you going to give me that call when I'm behind the dish too? Right. Swinging, drives one out to right. It's going to settle under it is Wimberly makes the catch. Lachance back to first. It's going to be the second out of the inning. It's going to bring up Cole Ian Tomasi. Batting 333 on the year. Three home runs, 16 RBIs is the stat line that I have. I can agree with you on that. First pitch, again, taken up a little bit for a strike. So it looks like our home plate umpire is going to have a little bit of a generous zone today, which is not a bad thing if you're a pitcher. Yeah, you take that every single day. Foul ball straight back into the netting here. So Ian Tomasi finding himself in the hole 0-2, but looking to battle. Good eye there, taking just outside. Very good plate discipline right there. That was a little too close for comfort for my liking. Yeah, but I, I, never, up there I never played college baseball, so <laughs> that's probably why I, I would have swung at it. Oh, 
LaShawn's off and running. Ball gets by the catcher, so he's going to go to second easy there with a stolen base. Going to set up an RBI opportunity for Ian Tomasi. Yeah, LaShawn's there. The last couple of pitches, he, he kind of looked like he was taking an extra step or two, maybe like he was going to go, and it finally took off that time. Fortunately for, for them, the catcher misplayed that, that pitch. It was a little high, but gets to second base easily. Yeah, good thing it bounced right back to him or it could have been a little bit worse. Right. And so Ian Tomasi battling here, works the count now to full. So here comes a big, big pitch right here for Robertson. And Tomasi taking it on the inside, drawing the walk. It's going to put runners on first and second here with two outs in the bottom of the first, bringing Jacob Miller up to the dish. And Miller had himself a big, big day on Thursday. And so looking for maybe another big swing off of this bat here early in this game, maybe set a tone. Just keep the good times rolling, eh? First pitch looked like he wanted to hold up, but couldn't quite. So therefore, they're going to get him on the check swing for strike one. Uh, so talking about the big day on Thursday, I had him going collectively four for seven, a couple home runs, a double, six RBIs on the day. And so, you know, not a not a bad day at the dish. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll take that for for a double header very nicely, <laughs> very nicely done. See, uh, Ian Tomasi, I know this, the pickoff isn't really popular if you got a guy on first and second with two outs, but he's a solid 10, 15 feet off first base there. Foul ball. Just kind of tapped right back at our catcher here. One, two count. Yeah, in those situations, you're going to see if, if the first baseman is playing behind you like that, you're going to go ahead and extend your lead as far as you can. Make sure you get a good secondary lead, and that way anything in the gap potentially is going to give you a chance to score pretty easily. Oh, Absolutely. Ball taken outside. I have to give the Vikings hitters credit right now. Once they find themselves with two strikes, their eye has been right on. Uh, that one just a little bit outside, so a little bit easier to take than some of the others we've seen to this point. Uh, count 2-2. Two, two. Miller swings and misses, and that's going to get Robertson out of the inning. So after one. We have the Roadrunners out front, one to nothing over the Vikings. You are watching Vikings baseball here on Livestream STO. Hi, this is Bill Ribble with APB Storage. APB Storage is a locally owned and operated family business that offers the best storage solutions in the Jefferson County area. Our electronic gates give you 24-hour access to your storage unit, and our state-of-the-art security system provides peace of mind and security. All of the units provide easy access drive-up doors to allow a stress-free way to your unit. Come see why people prefer the APB experience. Give us a call at 636-464-5629 or visit online at apbstorage.com. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor at Faith Community. I want to personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10, or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. Back here for the top of the second, Jefferson College in Hillsboro. Got a beautiful day for baseball. You know, some would say it's a little chilly, but I would argue to say as long as the sun's shining, winds kind of died down a little bit from earlier this morning, and it's setting up for just, you know, a beautiful day to play ball. Spoken like a true Midwesterner, Brian. As long <laughs> as it's above 45 degrees and the sun's out and there's no wind, it might as well be 80 degrees. Hey, you're not going to complain. And so leading off here for the Roadrunners, in this top of the second is going to be Sam Pauley, the shortstop. Tate back on the mound, second inning of work here. You know, did give up the one run, but really I think worked himself out of a jam early in that first. Ball in the dirt. 
Just a good job there by Stevens picking that one. Even though nobody's on base, you want to make sure you just kind of scoop all those you can. Ground ball towards short there. Be LaChance over to Shanahan. Record the first out. The, uh, the short stop for the Roadrunners. Sam Paul pretty much did the exact same thing that Joe Siervo did to lead off the first <laughs> inning. Ground ball to shortstop and then over to the first baseman to get the out. Except he was on the opposite end. He, he forced the out the first time. He caused it this time. Foul tip by Malachi Antle, the catcher for the Roadrunners who's now batting. Got a good little crowd on hand. See our good friend Ron Rigdon down there snapping some photos. All that fun stuff. Strike two in there. And he'll find himself behind 0-2 quickly. Ooh, little up and in. Maybe change the hitter's eye a little bit on that one. Yeah, just let him know you're there. <laughs> Ball slapped out into right field, but going to be right at the right fielder, Jacob Miller, who just casually strolls over. Can of corn, as they would say back in the day, for out number two. Quite the easy one. Right off the bat, it looked like it was going into the gap from, from my vantage point, but it just slowly kept going to the right, and good old Jacob Miller was there to make the catch no problem. That's right, a little slice off the right-handed batter there. It's going to bring up Tanner Grant, first baseman, who takes a first pitch for a strike. Tate working pretty quick. I like this. It keeps your fielders kind of engaged in the game. Oh, let's one go a little inside. And Grant's going to take that kind of right there just above the hip and just trot on down to first. Like, didn't phase me that much. We'll see if he rubs it here in a minute. Chucks the shin guard over to the dugout. I think he's all right. <laughs> And I'm, I'm going to be on first base. I'm not going to let you know if I'm, if I'm hurting or not anyway. Gets his lead. It's going to bring up Ryan Retone, second baseman. Looking to bunt. Foul tip right back at the catcher. I think that caught Stevens a little bit. Umpire going to give him a little bit of time and say, hey, collect yourself, my friend. Take a breath as I clean off the plate. It's good etiquette there by our home plate umpire. Yeah, I think the last thing you were expecting with two outs there with the man on first would be a, a bunt, but he, I mean, he sure did, so. It's going to bring Tomasi into the grass just in case and then swinging away. Uh, this time is going to be Retone and another foul ball straight back into the netting. Going to give our good friends Master Tech Auto Glass a call out there with that foul ball. A couple of them heading back in that direction of the parking lot, so they may get some calls after today's game. Can we have Grant over at first for the run runners? Got a small lead, not looking to get too far away from Shanahan there. See another ball taken. Yeah, it seems like with these left-handed hitters here for, for Dylan Tate, he's kind of going up and away a little too often for my liking. I don't know if that's just him scared to hit another pitcher <laughs> after the last at-bat, but kind of noticed that trend so far. Another ball taken outside that's going to push it to a full count here. So with two outs, you will see Grant over there probably get a lead as Shanahan backs up behind our runner to get ready for the play. Another ball just upstairs. Going to walk, and that's going to flip our lineup back to the top as center fielder Logan Miller steps to the plate. And Miller, one for one on the day, had a single right down the third base line, basically just kind of hit the top of the third base bag and scooted out into left field. Check swing. I think if we had an umpire at first, might appeal that one, but there isn't one today as we just have our two umpires. So they are going to appeal out, but no swing is the call, so it's going to be ball one. Yeah, very, very close. I think he just barely held himself up, but, yeah, that was very, very close. This time Tate in with the strike. Like a little bit of a slider, maybe a cutter. Hard to tell. We don't have, you know, our gun up here to be able to see what the speeds are today. 
Ooh, inside again. Miller backing off a little bit like, uh, it's a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. So, so far here in the top of the second, Tate struggling a little bit with his control. Another foul ball out of play. Top of the second, Roadrunners threatening with runners on first and second. Had a hit, hit batter, followed by a walk. And then now we have a drive out to center field. Tervo's going to casually glide in, take that, record the out, and that's going to do it for the top half of the second. Roadrunners up 1-0. You're watching Vikings baseball here on live stream SDL. Bree's Dental Care Team consists of dedicated individuals who are caring, kind, and friendly. Our staff is here to ensure a pleasant experience during your visit to our office. Our team includes experienced and energetic people whose goal it is to communicate well with our patients and provide the best care possible. Providing preventative, restorative, and cosmetic care, schedule a visit by calling 636-937-3030 or find us on the web at breezedentalcare.com. Hi, my name is Marie Stelling. I'm the Community Relations Director for Autumn Ridge Residences. We offer a vibrant senior living community conveniently located off 55 in Herculaneum. We offer three meals a day, activities and outings, housekeeping laundry is all included. Just minutes away from doctor's offices, restaurants and shopping. So if you or someone you know are considering senior living, please contact me, Marie Stelling at 636-931-8400. Come see for yourself why seniors love the life they live at Autumn Ridge. Back here at Dave Osterfield, home of the Vikings. And we have Daniel Fleer up to the plate for his first at bat. He's the DH on today. Takes first pitch for a strike. Second pitch down in the dirt. Daniel Fleer with a 364 batting average. He's got himself a couple doubles to boot. <laughs> you see uh, the next pitch fouled away. That's a Master Tag Auto Glass foul ball. Big shout out to them. Big shout out to the net for not sending one straight into the, the stains here just <laughs> be behind the third baseline. That net is our savior today. Ground ball over to third baseman. Jenkins on to first. Going to get the pick and the out. So Fleer ground out to third there. Very close play. Very solid throw by the third baseman there. Jenkins got it just in time. Probably another half second. <laughs> and the runner's safe there. So good play. Almost took a little bit too much time there. It's going to bring up to bat Jack Shanahan, first baseman for the Vikings. First pitch swing and drives one down the right field line. I don't think it's going to stay fair as the wind kind of pushes it out of play. Another Master Tech auto glass foul ball out of the field of play. As you can see by our wonderful camera angle right now that you're viewing just down that right field line, it gets narrower as you get to the foul pole right there. Could get a little scary over there too if you're running after a fly ball. Need a lot of help from your teammates. Call out that fence. Another foul ball off to the right side there. Quickly down one, two is Shanahan. Looking to maybe start a little bit of a rally here. We have seen runners on base for the Vikings, but not able to push anything across to this point. Oh, 
Swing and driver again. Going to test Jenkins over at third, up with the throw, and going to retire Shanahan for the second out of the inning. Much, a much harder hit there by, by Shanahan than Fleer, but same result, ground ball to the third baseman, ends up gets thrown out at first. That's going to bring up one Henley Parker. That's right, Mr. Henley Parker coming in today, uh, just really doing, doing some good work there. Just simply batting 367 as he takes strike one. Cool, calm, collected 367. I'd say say he's doing all right. Got himself a home run as well. Fouling off the next pitch. 0-2 count. Again, both pitchers today, whether it's Tate or Robertson here for the Roadrunners, seemingly working pretty quick, which is always a nice thing. Um, again, for your fielders, you know, there's not a lot of time in between these pitches. It's going to get him just looking at a third strike called. And so Robertson, again, shutting the door. Our score, one nothing here as we end the second inning. Roadrunners ahead of the Vikings. This is Vikings baseball on live stream, STL. Now is the time to discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your purpose in more than 50 areas of study, like business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. With affordable tuition, dedicated professors, and credits guaranteed to transfer, at Jefferson College, your dreams can become a reality. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. Jefferson College, discover the possibilities. Hi, this is Steve Curley at Master Tech Auto Glass. Response has been great to our new business, but remember, we're not new in the business of auto glass. We have over 20 years of experience in rock chip repair, full windshield replacement, and we also offer camera recalibration services to keep your safety features functioning properly. We're a family-owned business, and I sincerely ask that you give my wife, Amanda, and I the opportunity to earn your business. So stop in or give us a call at 636 208 0018 or check us out at mastertechautoglass.com. We're Master Tech Auto Glass located at 104 Twin City Mall in Crystal City, Missouri. Your vehicle will be in good hands at Master Tech Auto Glass. Welcome back to Jefferson College, home of the Vikings. Here as we enter the top of the third inning, see Dylan Tate warming up again real quick before we get this inning underway. First up to bat for the Roadrunners is going to be Dane Wimberly. The right fielder, he in the first inning reached base on balls. So Dylan Tate is going to look to change that here as we get the third inning underway. First pitch is well outside. Again, like I was saying earlier, the, the lefty hitters, he seems to be throwing that ball a little too far outside. Can't really seem to find a rhythm against these left-handed hitters. And he's going to make me eat my words as the, <laughs> the second pitch is a swing and strike, making it a 1-1 one, one count. He's just setting them up there, getting them to look, look outside and False then just drop one down. That's if, right. If you will. 1-1 one, one pitch is in the dirt. That's going to be a ball. You know, and I mean, to your point, though, Tate has kind of been, you know, back and forth. Um, you know, to his credit, he's been able to work out of some jams. Uh, and so – even though he's kind of been what I would say a little erratic, he has controlled it enough to keep the Roadrunners, you know, down at least on the scoreboard. Absolutely. 2-2 two, two count. Here's the pitch. Swinging a ground ball towards the first baseman, but that's going to go foul for back-to-back -back Master Tech Autoglass foul balls. Huge shout-out to them. Thank you for sponsoring. As we get another 2-2 two, two pitch here, umpire calls time. Yeah, we got the ball ricocheted off the fence down there in the right field line, uh -huh. back out into field of play, and so they're just going to send someone out to grab that real quick. Yeah, last thing Jacob Miller, the right fielder, is going to want is a, a rolled ankle chasing after a ball. 2-2 two -two is just barely deflected off the bat of Wimberley. It's going to be another 2-2. Two -two. See the umpire grab a couple of extra baseballs. Yeah, just staying alive. That's the name when you have two strikes. You know, that's maybe that song that plays in your head, staying alive. That's right. Uh, I'm not going to sing it for you because it <laughs> might get us in trouble because, <laughs> one, my bad singing would really just offend some people, I think. <laughs> Don't want to get taken off the air either. <laughs> Full count here for Dylan Tate. 
That ball must be just a little low as that's going to be ball four. So Wimberley is going to get on base twice by walk. It was definitely in the lower half of the zone, but this, eh, could have seen it either way from up here. Yeah, it's a, you know, good good credit to Wimberley there. Good eye on that play, being able to just, you know, lay off of that pitch. You know, I think a lot of hitters would probably have chased in that scenario, uh, especially given two strikes, full count in that situation. But, uh, again, on base for the second time via the walk, and so looking pretty good. Going to bring up Carter Jenkins, the third baseman here. He struck out in the first inning. First pitch is well outside. Going to fall behind 1-0 and here. Carter Jenkins being the recipient of a couple of defensive plays there in the bottom of the second, getting a couple 5-3 putouts to keep the, the Vikings at bay with no runners on the board. 1-0 pitch is fouled directly behind us. Another Master Tech Auto Glass foul ball. Going to reach the little wood line back here, so not even a play for our fans. Somebody's going to have to go trouncing to try and find that one. I'm sure someone's not going to mind going for a little hike to try and find that baseball. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. It's going to be a pickoff to first base, actually. Umpire is not in the best spot to make that call, but he was quite clearly back in time, so he's safe. i got to tell you, that, that umpire right behind the pitcher's mound there, that's got to be scary. <laughs> Breaking ball is going to hang inside. That was a good-looking pitch uh, right there by Tate. I mean, I know it didn't get, hit, get the call he was looking for on that, but I like that, trying to jam the runner, maybe getting – you know, to chop one down on the ground, get a, a double play. So we get another foul ball right behind us again, probably in the exact same spot as the one just a few pitches ago. <laughs> Someone's going to have a, a gold mine back there. If they just stand right there and look up a little bit, they'll they'll have a couple uh, couple souvenirs to take home. I just saw one of the road runners run out of the dugout, and he got the short straw there and has to go <laughs> back through the woods to try and find those. Dylan Tate with the 2-2 pitch. He's going to pick off to first again. And first baseman Shanahan's not even going to attempt to try and tag the runner out. He was very comfortably back in at first. Yeah, and we did see in the first they were attempting to take, you know, a couple chances on the base pass. And so, you know, good idea to try and keep them close there for a minute. Yeah, you can see the, the runner Wimberly, Wimberly there. He's got the, the big old glove glove on his, his right hand there for making it look like he's going to steal and slide into <laughs> second base there so probably why they're they're so cautious on him stealing but here finally is the 2-2 pitch a swing ground ball up the middle but it's oh, going to nice go to the play. shortstop gets one out throw to first is in time for the double play very nicely done for the 6-4-3 double play well, that's it and just again nice stretch over there by Shannon at first to complete it but that's exactly what you're looking for on that um, you know patented Six yep. four three, very smart there by the shortstop as well to kind of cheat over to sec to the second base bag just a little bit, as he was in the perfect spot to to field that ground ball comfortably and, and start the double play. So we see Jaden Little now up to the plate. Pitch is a little low for ball one. Little in the the first inning struck out as well. Is what I got on my my score sheet he, at least. You were right on. He was struck out swinging. Little blooper into shallow right field. The second baseman and the right fielder are both coming in for it, but the right fielder, Jacob Miller, is going to get that comfortably and stay out of the inning scoreless. We head to the bottom of the third inning. one nothing here. Roadrunners over the Vikings. This is Jefferson College Baseball on Livestream SDL. Girardi Agency, Missouri Farm Bureau, we're dedicated to safeguarding your, bring your future. Whether it's auto, home, life, health, or business insurance, we offer comprehensive coverage tailored to your needs. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Our office has been located in Hillsboro for over 30 years. Please contact our office today for a quote, 636-797-5800. Hi, this is Bill Ribble with APB Storage. APB Storage is a locally owned and operated family business that offers the best storage solutions in the Jefferson County area. Our electronic gates give you 24-hour access to your storage unit, and our state-of-the-art security system provides peace of mind and security. All of the units provide easy access drive-up doors to allow a stress-free way to your unit. Come see why people prefer the APB experience. Give us a call at 636 
Welcome back to Jefferson College here as we start the bottom of the third inning as we have the number nine hitter Hunter Sherman playing left field for the Vikings today on defense. Vikings are finally going to get their, their entire lineup up to bat. <laughs> First pitch by Robinson is a called strike. Yeah, and Sherman, I mean, 310 on the season, 29 at bats. I mean, doing a good job, especially in a nine hole like this. This is a guy, you know, if he can bat around that 300 mark, is going to be huge to roll it over to the top of the lineup. Well, he's going to have to find something here as he falls behind 0-2 quickly. Both pitches a, a little on the edge maybe, but get the generous calls. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That is well outside. It's going to be ball one. He wanted to see how far he could go outside and get the call there maybe. And why not? <laughs> if you think you're getting a little extra, then why not push that envelope just a little more? Next pitch is swung on, fouled straight back behind us for another Master Tech Autoglass foul ball. Looking over at the Vikings dugout, I don't see anyone over there running for any foul balls. I guess everyone likes each other over there. That's right. They put it on the, the visiting road runners. I guess it <laughs> depends on which side it goes, right? I guess so. Next pitch is swung, and that's going to go out to right field. High fly ball is going to be comfortably grabbed by Dwayne Wimberly, the right fielder. Yeah, and you wonder, too, though, in right field. I mean, it's hard to tell. I mean, all the players kind of on the right side of the field with their sunglasses are shielding themselves from the sun. So anytime you see one up in the air like that, you always question, you know, does it get into sun and make it a little bit more challenging? Yeah, and that's only going to get more and more difficult as the day progresses. Here's Joe Servo up to plate. First pitch straight down the middle. Servo let off the game for the Vikings with a... Ground ball to the shortstop with a 6-3 put out. So the next pitch is a called ball outside. Yeah, still looking to work that outer half of the play. Didn't get that call there, but, you know, give credit to Robertson. He's been, you know, around the strike zone a lot today. Next pitch is up high. Uh, the potentially fake bunt by, by Cervo there. I don't know if he was actually going to lay it down or not, but that pitch was high enough that he had had nothing to do with that one. 2-1 pitch now, swung in a ground ball towards third, and that's going to stay fair, barely. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Sierra's going to second base. He's going to get there comfortably. He might even look towards third. He's going. Throw uh -oh. comes in, and that's going to be offline, so Sierra's going to get on base. The second hit of the game for the Vikings is a triple. Very yeah. nicely done hit. We saw that similarly in the beginning of the game. Uh, I think it was by it was Logan Miller to lead off the game entirely. Just barely hugging that third baseline, and it stayed fair and rolls all the way to the wall, so he's got the speed to get to third base. Yeah, and just a good job heads-up running there by Sierra. I mean, just tremendous. Um. LaChance with a ground ball up the middle. Shortstop's going to get there in time to get the throw out at first, but in the process, he's going to concede the runner from third to score. That's right. So Sierra is going to uh, tie this game up for the Vikings. Yeah, I mean, a great play there by shortstop. Uh, only play he really had right there um, in that scenario. It's going to bring up Ryan Stevens. First pitch, swinging in a foul ball down the right field line. Yeah, I don't think anybody's getting that one. That Probably was driven not. out there pretty good. Yeah, you, you got some, some hard-hitting contact right there. Stevens flew out to right field in his first at-bat. A one pitch is a ground ball up the middle, and that's going to get past the second baseman out into center field. So Stevens is going to get first. He kind of fakes it towards second maybe, but he backs off. He's going to get that single. And we've got some momentum for the Vikings potentially. Yeah, just a great job by them so far in this inning, really kind of you know manufacturing a run there. You saw Siervo getting the ball down the line, getting the triple, and then LaShawn's coming in. And you know even though he didn't get the single, you know doing enough to get the runner in. And then there with Stevens doing a great job of just driving the ball right back up the middle. Here's Cole Ian Tomasi now at the plate for the Vikings. First one is up and around the chest area. He's going to take that for ball one. Ian Tomasi in the first inning got on base via the walk. I think he would take that again in this scenario, <laughs> get a couple extra runners on base. 
Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a line drive straight to the shortstop. That's going to be Sam Paul who gets the catch and the third out. So that's going to end the third inning here. The Vikings fight back and get a run themselves, tying this game up 1-1 one -one as we head into the fourth inning. This is Vikings Baseball on Livestream STL. Hi, this is Steve Curley at Master Tech Auto Glass. Response has been great to our new business, but remember, we're not new in the business of auto glass. We have over 20 years of experience in rock chip repair, full windshield replacement, and we also offer camera recalibration services to keep your safety features functioning properly. We're a family-owned business, and I sincerely ask that you give my wife, Amanda, and I the opportunity to earn your business. So stop in or give us a call at 636 208 0018 or check us out at mastertechautoglass.com. We're Master Tech Auto Glass located at 104 Twin City Mall in Crystal City, Missouri. Your vehicle will be in good hands at Master Tech Auto Glass. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor of Faith Community. I want to personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10, or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. We are back here at Dave Oster Field here in Hillsboro on the campus of Jefferson College. Top of the fourth inning, got a tight game, 1-1. One, one. Uh, some would say a little bit of a pitcher's duel, but we have seen you know, some offense here and there spread through. Yeah, it's just been about everything except for the final product, really, especially for the, the hitters. It seems like on both sides, the pitchers get off to a quick 1-0 or 1-2, 0-2 count, and then the hitters will just fight back and either draw a walk or maybe a, a quick single double. We did see a triple there for the Vikings there to, to start the third inning, but pitchers duel indeed, and I'm not complaining personally. Absolutely not. Uh, leading off here at the top of the fourth is Sam Russo. First pitch takes just downstairs for ball one. And, and again, Tate's working pretty fast, up to 50 pitches through four innings so far. So not, you know, a bad outing by him on any stretch. You know, in moments, been a little, you know, what I would say, I wouldn't say wild, but maybe not getting some of the calls, been just out of the strike zone here or there. But otherwise, has really worked himself out of some jams. Uh, the only run coming across early in the first. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to have to figure out a uh, way to battle back in this at bat specifically. He's already down 3-0. And there, Russell taking the ball high, so... Leadoff batter is going to draw the walk on four pitches, not really what you're looking for to start the inning off. Uh, but again, he's been able to work out of it so far this to this point in the game, and so maybe he can get another ground ball double play here. Absolutely. It's going to bring up Sam Paul. Short stop in today, 0 for 1. He did have a ground out in his last at bat, so looking to kind of repeat that. Looking to bunt, and he's going to bunt it right back into his leg. It does trickle down the first baseline, but our home plate umpire on that real quick to signify a foul ball. So a little bit of small ball here, it looks like, from the Roadrunners, just looking to maybe advance the runner, see if they can push across another run, maybe with the way both pitchers are playing today. Squares up again, takes this one, runner's going. Ball skips past shortstop out into center field, and so Russo is going to move over to third on the throw. Definitely not the start to the inning you were looking for as a Viking. Um, just getting away from Stevens there, the throw kind of short hops. LeChance out there and into center field, and again, Roadrunners with a prime opportunity here. Two and one count to Paul. Ground ball foul down the third baseline. A chance for our third base coach there for the Roadrunners. Just couldn't come up with it. Yeah, he was kicking himself too. He <laughs> kind of gave himself a little, little fist bump like, man, I should have had that. Right, that's the chance to show off for the boys and go, that's how you do it even with no glove. Exactly. But, you know, off the hands. Foul ball straight back into the net. So, Paul... 
Battle in a little bit here with a runner on third. So just looking to try and put something in play, maybe scratch that run across. It's Russo down there at third base. Ball almost getting away from Stevens there. Caught him off guard, going up and in a little bit, but great job behind the plate of grabbing that one. Full count here. Another ball taken inside, so it's gonna put runners on the corners. And Paul drawing the walk. Nobody out here in the top of the fourth. First and third, and Malachi Antle stepping to the plate. Yeah, it almost seems like the, the script has been flipped a little bit, where early on the pitchers got into a, a quick lead in the count, and then the batter was going to fight their way back into it. And now it seems like the opposite, where the batter is kind of getting off to a, a quick quick count. Yeah, it's going to get a chance. Coach going to come out and talk here with Tate a little bit. And, Ray, while we do that, let's, let's bring up Mr. Ron Rigdon over at Cheap Seats Photography for photos, banners, and designs. Give him a call. 314-402-9014 or go to cheapseatphoto.com. Ron's out here today taking some pictures. Anywhere you see us, you see the banners there is done by Mr. Ron Rigdon and those over at Cheap Seats Photography. And so give them a call. Uh, tell them we sent you in and, and you will be um, just, you know, taken well care of by the folks over there at Cheap Seats Photography. Oh, absolutely. And he seems to always have a smile on his face no matter – what the temperature is, where we are, what's going on. <laughs> He's just got a very, very bright personality as well. So very, very good, good people over there. And, and might I say, they, they do some pretty darn good work Absolutely. with their photos and banners. Absolutely. So home plate umpire out to get, get everybody back in the dugouts and go, you've had enough time talking with, uh, with Tate out there. And so let's see if Tate can find a way out of this again. It's going to bring up Malachi Antle. Runners on first and third. Nobody out here in the top of the fourth. First pitch inside for a ball. Yeah, it seems to be, a, again, a, a common occurrence there. He's, he's missing just to the catcher's left, whether it be inside or outside, based on the hitter. There we go. Finds one there. 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, definitely needed that just to kind of get some, uh, some confidence back and, and remember that he can hit the strike zone. Yeah, and I'm sure if you're the Vikings here, you would take two outs and give up the one run on this if you can get a ground ball double play. Kind of like that? Hey, that's what we're hoping for. 6-4-3 It's going to be a close play, but got him. So good good work there again by Tate uh, to record the 6-4-3 double play. So the run does push across, which will give the Roadrunners a 2-1 lead here in the top of the fourth. But again, you'll trade those two outs. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, even though you do give up the run and it's kind of been a low-scoring game, you, you want to get those two outs and, and get the, the bases cleared. First pitch swing in there from Dylan Tate as Tanner Grant is going to come up to the plate, who was hit by that pitch in the second <laughs> inning, took it right in the side. Yeah, swinging at the second one there. And so quickly, 0-2 count here. Um, and so far, Tate has said, I'm not getting that close to you. And he's going to catch him on an outside pitch for strike three to end the top half of the fourth. So, again, uh, Roadrunners push one across and go up two to one here in the top of the fourth. This is Vikings baseball on live stream STL. Health Information Technology Program combines healthcare, business, and technology. This online degree provides students a broad range of knowledge that allows them to choose multiple career paths. Our graduates work in data analytics, electronic health records, medical coding, and much more. Employment growth is high for HIT careers. Upon completion, our students are eligible to take the Registered Health Information Technician exam since we are nationally accredited by KHIM. For more information, go to jeffco.edu slash HIT. Hi, my name is Marie Stelling. I'm the Community Relations Director for Autumn Ridge Residences. We offer a vibrant senior living community conveniently located at 55 in Herculaneum. We offer three meals a day, activities and outings, housekeeping laundry is all included. Just minutes away from doctor's offices, restaurants and shopping. So if you or someone you know are considering senior living, please contact me, Marie Stelling, at 636-931-8400. Come see for yourself why seniors love the life they live at Autumn Ridge.
Back here, bottom of the fourth. Vikings baseball on live stream SDL. Brian Kaplan alongside Drake Beekman and producer Ray Halbrook. Been a little bit of a battle so far today. 2-1 again. Roadrunners are up. Jacob Miller stepping to the dish here for the Vikings. First pitch swing and hard ground ball over to third base. is going to get through for a single. Bobbled for a moment by left fielder. Russell but gets it in quickly. Going to keep Miller over at first. If I'm the scorer there, that hard hit ball is going to be credited as a single in my book. I don't oh, know absolutely. about you. Yeah, that's that's what I would have given him a hit as well. I mean, it, it did take a, maybe a little bit of an awkward bounce. It just barely gets over the glove of the third baseman Jenkins there. But very well hit ball. There's a not a whole lot that Jenkins can do there. And Fleer steps to the plate, squares around to Bunt, pulls back, takes the ball outside. So again, we've seen this kind of by both sides. You get a runner on looking to just maybe do a little bit of small ball, move the runner over. Squaring around this one. Air mailed by the center fielder, and it's also going to bounce off the center fielder. And so all the way from first, Miller is going to score to tie this game up on a bunt attempt at the plate by Fleer. And then the catcher then just air mailed the shortstop. Bad hop out there on center field, Logan Miller. And again, all the way from first, Miller is gonna round and score. So just like that, we are knotted at two. Um, swing in there, ground out to first, pitcher's over. Is he gonna get there? Oh, close, close play but they're gonna get him just by a hair on the ground out. All right, let's breathe. So there was a, <laughs> a failed attempt at a uh, pickoff by the catcher there, and, and then the old 3-1 uh, put out on the, on the following pitch. <laughs> Who says baseball isn't interesting, right? <laughs> you just don't see that too often. It's gonna bring up Jack Shanahan to the plate. First pitch swinging and drives it right back up the middle. Look out, Mr. Robertson, as that one nearly took the ball cap off. And again, that ball gets out to center fielder, and he misplayed it a little bit. Runner's going to stay at first, so no harm done there. But that's back-to-back -back plays by the center fielder where kind of bobbled it a little bit. So maybe, uh, maybe look to maybe exploit that a little bit if you're the Vikings. Yeah, keep an eye on that because obviously something's going on out there maybe where he's struggling a little bit just to pick the ball up off the ground or it's taking some odd bounces out there. As Henley Parker steps to the plate, 0 for 1 today. Got fooled by that pitch, and on that, Shanahan's going to move up to second as it did just scoot away from our catcher, Antle. That pitch definitely faked out the batter there. Is about halfway through his swing. He <laughs> kind of pulled up, but at that point it was already too late. Unfortunately for Robertson, the, the pitch fooled the catcher too, so the uh, runner's going to advance to second base quite easily. Yeah, runner on second with one out. Ball taken outside on the pitch. And Robertson, up to this point, pitcher for the Roadrunners, had looked pretty good up to about 51 pitches, had kind of been cruising a little bit other than the one run. Here in this inning, it's been a little bit more of a struggle. You've seen some balls hit pretty hard off of him so far in the bottom half of the fourth. Going to get the call on the inside corner there. Looks like it could have hit his elbow if, <laughs> if he kept that up a little more, too. And Parker does crowd the plate a little bit. You can see that front foot is almost on the line of the batter's box. So he isn't shy about crowding the pitcher there on that. Ball out and away, going to even the count at two. But when you've got a pitcher that works the outside like that, I mean, it's a good idea to crowd the plate a little bit, give you an opportunity maybe to get some of those pitches that are on the corner or just off the plate. Yeah, especially because really the, the, the umpire's given that outside probably a little, little more than he maybe should as well. Foul ball back here behind us out into the woods. So Parker battling right here. Shanahan out on second after a nice single to center and then a ball scooted away by our catcher, getting him over to second. And so Vikings looking maybe to manufacture themselves the first lead of the ball game if they can get a base hit here. Second baseman acting like he's gonna pick off at second. Ooh, breaking ball just got away from our pitcher Robertson there and over the head and back there 
of Parker. He just kind of stood in. It was almost like he's, I'm going to take it. Yeah, he just kind of <laughs> ducked his head a little bit there. I would have probably fallen to the ground. I would have been so scared. <laughs> Full count here. Oh, and going to get him with the high strike. Second out of the inning, caught looking. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Parker, too. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts looking. And especially this last at-bat was very hard fought, very well done by the, by the batter. But the result is unfortunately the same. Two outs here as Hunter Sherman steps to the plate. 0 for 1 today, fly out. Looking maybe to drive one somewhere in a gap, find some grass here. First pitch swinging out to right field again. So Wimberley going to settle under this one, looking up into the sun, but snags it. And that's going to end the fourth inning here. Able to push across the run is the Vikings. Tie this game up at two. And so you're watching Vikings baseball here on Livestream STL. The Breeze Dental Care Team consists of dedicated individuals who are caring, kind, and friendly. Our staff is here to ensure a pleasant experience during your visit to our office. Our team includes experienced and energetic people whose goal it is to communicate well with our patients and provide the best care possible. Providing preventative, restorative, and cosmetic care, schedule a visit by calling 636-937-3030 or find us on the web at breezedentalcare.com. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor at Faith Community. I want to personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10, or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. Back here for the bottom, or excuse me, top of the fifth. Roadrunner's going to send to the plate. Number nine hitter Ryan Retone, who walked in his first appearance. Again, tie game here 2-2. It's been a little bit of a, I'd say, an odd pitcher's duel because neither pitcher has been clean, I would say, but they have done enough to get themselves out of jams. First pitch in there for a strike. Second pitch fouled off right there. 0-2 count on retone. And Tate still in there for his fifth inning of work. Almost at the 70-pitch mark. We get a fly ball out to left. Tracking it is Sherman. Right there up against the bullpen fence. Going to make the catch and retire. Retone for the first out of the inning. Yeah, very nice play. You could see him kind of waving his arm out there looking for that fence there in the bullpen. Wasn't quite that far over though, and, and he gets that, that catch corralled in quite nicely. It's gonna flip the lineup over to Logan Miller. One for two on the day, let off the game with a single down the third base line. First pitch swinging over into the Vikings dugouts. Get down, yeah, cover look, your heads. Look out. Don't need any injuries going on right there. does look like the Vikings have some action in their bullpen just in case. Yeah, it looks like that's number five, Kale Wilson, right-handed pitcher out there getting some some action. I would assume, barring this, this inning doesn't go too far wrong for, for Dylan Tate. He's going to finish this inning out and, and then switch over then, but we shall see. Off to a good start so far. Um, getting that, recording the first out there and ahead here, one, two, against Miller. Miller swinging through that one and so set him down. It's gonna be record the second out of the inning on a swinging strike. It's gonna bring up Dane Wimberly, right fielder for the Roadrunners who's reached base twice in today's game, both via the walk. First pitch, kind of a check swing. Home plate umpire is gonna ask the first base umpire what he saw, I'm not sure he can see a whole lot down there, but no call, so 1-0 is the count. Swinging is Wimberly at that pitch. Yeah, he swung at that one. He was looking to do some damage. 
but did not get the ball at all. Ball up and away. So Tate looking to retire Wimberley here and have a quick, quick top of the fifth inning here. And Wimberley swinging through that one again with murderous intent, it seemed like, but not able to connect. And he's just going to watch one right there on the inside corner, and that is going to retire the side. Wimberley down looking as we head to the bottom half of the fifth. Our score tied at two. This is Vikings Baseball on live stream STO. Lippy, Ontario, Canada. Noah Schumann, Hillsborough, Missouri. Paul Ames Massey, with the Ontario, Canada. Jack Shanahan, Kirkwood, Missouri. Josie Irvo, St. Louis, Missouri. Daniel Fleer, St. Louis, Missouri. Connor Sherman, Warrington, Missouri. Joshua Rathbun, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Kyle Richardson, Jackson, Missouri. Cannon Carr, Papua, Missouri. Dylan Tate, you're in Missouri. No Hargraves, O'Fallon, Missouri. Drew Pulley, San Luis, Missouri. Kale Wilson, Jefferson City, Missouri. Griffin Cato, Whitby, Ontario. Lane Axtetter, Bessis, Missouri. Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your passion in business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. Back here at Dave Oster Field, as we head to the bottom of the fifth, our score tied at two. Top of the lineup here for the Vikings and Joe Servo leading us off. Squaring around a bunt, puts a nice one down, pitcher off the mound, gonna look for to make the throw a little wide at first. So credit him with a Bunt single there, I'll give it maybe a bad throw by the pitcher. Some people looking at me going, eh, that's probably more an error. But, you know, I'm trying to up batting averages here. What do you think, Mr. Oh, Drake? 100%. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, it was a good good bunt there. He, he wasn't going to beat the throw, but the pitcher, Robertson, just a little offline at the first baseman there. He had to come off the bag to catch that ball. So in with a, a single, we'll call it. There we go. It's a good thing I'm not the official scorekeeper there as LeChance swinging at the first pitch he sees. Ball just on the outer half there and Robertson for the Roadrunners still in the game right at about 60 pitches on the day. Uh, has been able to be in the strike zone quite a bit, 37 strikes, 22 balls. Uh, has seen a little bit of traffic, has some traffic now, so maybe an opportunity to get a little bit under his skin and rattle him here. And Lachance, one for two with a single and a ground out on the day. Servo also was the one that Stole second and ended up getting all the way home back in a couple innings ago. So got a chance to maybe do the same here. Another shot into center field. That one's going to drop right in front of the center fielder. Servo thought about taking third, but wisely held up, almost falling over. And so a couple runners on here. Nice single there by LaChance. See if that's going to draw the eye of the Roadrunners coaching staff over there and maybe get somebody up in their bullpen, bullpen throwing a little bit or if they're going to continue to ride it out here with Robertson. Yeah, you see uh, Ryan Stevens are getting some instructions by the, the coach over there on the third base side. Don't see anyone in the bullpen for the Roadrunners as of the moment, so who knows if they're uh, just going to stick it out with him for however long they planned on originally or if those planes are going to change it all. Yeah, and remember with uh, having a double header today, so this first game is going to be in a seven inning game. And so really, even though we're only in the bottom of the fifth here, it's the later part of the game. And so maybe looking to move some runners over. 
First pitch swing in there by Stevens, going to foul it right back into himself. And so you wonder if, you know, maybe you're looking at another small ball opportunity, you know, two runners on, nobody out, first and second here. Maybe you try and move them over. Uh, and if you're on the road runner side, obviously you want a ground ball. Double play is really what you're looking for at this opportunity. Ball taken downstairs. Yeah, there's been a few of those kind of lower in the zone right there on the line. I don't know if uh, we got the vantage point. We're right above the umpire, so can't really see up and down as well. But definitely uh, some close calls there. Again, pitch up in the zone, call for a strike there. That that has been there all day, I will say, for the home plate umpire. He has been consistent with that call. And so as a hitter, you've got to be ready for that, uh, especially now with two strikes. Robertson deliberately taking his time a little bit, maybe trying to keep the runners close. Might have threw himself out of whack there. That was a... That ball was um, quite quite a four ways outside. Yeah, he keeps kind of looking back there at Servo at second base, you know, just trying to keep him close. Doesn't want him to get a good secondary lead. Uh, just on a chance, if you do get a single, maybe you can hold him at third, but my guess would be is he's rounding third if there's a base hit here. And Steven swinging through that one's going to be the first out here in the bottom of the fifth. Going to be Tate Robertson's fourth strikeout of the afternoon. Not a, no, not a nothing exactly world beating, but he still kept himself to only two runs in this game. So, like we were mentioning earlier, it's a pretty pretty solid pitcher's duel here for for the first game. Yeah, Ian Tomasi stepping to the plate. He's got a walk, and then I would say a line drive out um, in his second at bat. There, looking to maybe do some damage here. Uh, to your point, two runs, seven hits. So Robertson's really kind of scattered some hits around, as you see. Ian Tomasi, line drive that one out of play down the third base line for our Master Tech Auto Glass foul ball. Some of the fans with their lawn chairs out there maybe trying to collect that one or just let it roll down into the wood and hope somebody else comes by. Yeah, they didn't seem too bothered by <laughs> that one just rolling right past them. They didn't get up running, so it wasn't directly <laughs> at them. Foul ball directly behind us out of play again. So 0-2 count here on Ian Tomasi looking to maybe put the Vikings up in this game for the first time. Every time the Roadrunners had kind of pushed across the run, the Vikings had answered to this point. And so now looking for maybe to take that opportunity and grab their first lead of the game. Robertson again, a little bit deliberately slow in his delivery. Another hard ground ball, foul down the third base line, going to bang off the bullpen fence and out into left field. So they're going to track that one down. Yeah, it's definitely been a, a change of pace by R Robertson here in, in the fifth inning, the first four on both sides. Very uh, quick tempo pitching, not leaving a, any time to waste, but he's got, got a couple runners on, so he's going to make sure that he's doing his due diligence and uh, making sure all of his T's are crossed and I's dotted. Ball taken there. And to your point, he's pushing 70 pitches here. Maybe he's, you know, starting to feel the effects of fatigue a little bit here uh, as we've gotten later in this game. Uh, and so needing to maybe catch his breath a little bit. Both runners with their leads. Ground ball over to third base, looking for the double play. On to second, on to first, one hop and a pick, but it's not going to be in time. And so Ian Tomasi going to beat it out, keep the inning alive. Runners on the corner here. We get time from the umpires as Sierra was over there just kind of dancing off a third a little bit, going to make that call. Yeah, he, was, he was flirting with rounding third and, and heading home there and all the, uh, all the nonsense that was going on with the double play. But first baseman there was, was right on top of it. He wasn't going to let that happen. So 
So here we go. Coming up is Jacob Miller. Looking to maybe answer here with two outs. First pitch is up high. Again, Robertson being a little bit more deliberate on the mound, taking his time. So Miller going to settle in here. Another pitch up and in. And Tomasi over there faking maybe a little bit of a delayed steal, see if he could get a throw out of him, maybe catch himself in a little bit of a rundown and push across the run here. Still no, still no activity in the Roadrunners bullpen as well. I guess they're going to stick it out with Robertson here. Foul ball straight back. It's going to even our count at two. Pitch just on the outer half. Roadrunners wanted that one. You saw some of them jumping up and down, thinking they got out of the inning there. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen him give it earlier on in the game. He's kind of right there on the outside, on the corner, giving some of them, not giving some of them. <laughs> so full count here, you would think. Tomasi's going to be off with the pitch there at first. And... Miller just going to watch one right down the pipe. That's going to end the fifth inning. As you see, Robertson a little pumped up coming off the mound there. Our score tied here at two as we head to the sixth. This is Vikings Baseball on live stream STL. At Girardi Agency, Missouri Farm Bureau, we're dedicated to safeguarding your present and securing your future. Whether it's auto, home, life, health, or business insurance, we offer comprehensive coverage tailored to your needs. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Our office has been located in Hillsboro for over 30 years. Please contact our office today for a quote, 636-797-5800. Hi, this is Bill Ribble with APB Storage. APB Storage is a locally owned and operated family business that offers the best storage solutions in the Jefferson County area. Our electronic gates give you 24-hour access to your storage unit, and our state-of-the-art security system provides peace of mind and security. All of the units provide easy access drive-up doors to allow a stress-free way to your unit. Come see why people prefer the APB experience. Give us a call at 636-464-5629 or visit online at apbstorage.com. Here at Jefferson College as we head into the top of the sixth inning, as you see Dylan Tate is still out there on the mound for the Vikings. He had a quick fifth inning. so. The Vikings are going to keep him out on the bump for the time being. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, 77 pitches so far. Uh, it's been a little bit back and forth, but he's got six strikeouts on the day uh, and along with uh, a number of walks, but he's been able to battle. First pitch is a high fly ball, but that's going to go foul to the foul side of the left field wall. That was a pretty hard shot. I got to <laughs> I gotta think that Dylan Tate's going to have a pretty short leash here in the sixth inning. A one pitch is a foul, or foul ball, excuse me, a fly ball out to center field. Center fielder quite comfortably is going to get that, though. Joe Siervo made hardly any effort to catch that one. Yeah, almost hit right at him on those as an outfielder. You just love those. I don't have to go too far back. I don't have to run in a gap. You can just hit those at me all day long. Carter Jenkins with the foul out there to start the inning, so Jaden Little is going to be up next. First pitch is inside for a ball. Jaden Little with a strikeout and a flyout to right field to his name so far in this game. Looking to change that for himself. 
The pitch is a foul ball down the right field line. That's going to get over the fence and into the woods. <laughs> that one was a foul ball. <laughs> Just a little a, bit. A fly ball to center field. It was a foul ball. The 1-1 pitch for Tate. Nice breaking ball. Batter checks the swing, and the first base umpire agrees that's going to be a ball. Man, you know, I'm, yeah, again, you may, some may call me a little biased, but I think, you know, he went after that one, in my opinion. 2-1 pitch is a fly ball in the gap between center and right field. Sierra's going to call everyone off and make that catch. So a little, uh, little dicey, couple hard hits for the, the Roadrunners here off Tate, but no damage done, a couple fly outs to center field. And just like that, we've got two outs in the top of the sixth. Yeah, and so far the last two innings for Tate, I mean, just doing a great job of, you know, keeping the pitch count low um, and just really working right at the hitters. I mean, he's going after them whether they put it in play or not. It doesn't matter. He's just, here's my best stuff, hit it. Absolutely. First pitch to Sam Russo is a foul ball back behind the plate for a Master Tech Auto Glass foul ball. Go check those guys out if you got any any damage needing fixing. Second pitch is a swing and a miss. So quickly, an 0-2 count for Dylan Tate. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That's down in the dirt. That's going to be ball one. As again, we see number five, Cale Wilson, in the bullpen for the Vikings. Got to assume that he's going to be the one to come in and close this thing out. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Swinging a blooper into left field. That's going to find its way foul oh. as Hunter Sherman slides into the fence there looking to find that ball. He's a little slow to get up. Going to try and walk it off maybe. He looks to be all right. Just kind of styling it out, as you say, making sure no one uh, is watching him, thinking that he's hurt or anything. Yeah, and again, it's a little interesting down there on the left field line. I mean, you know, as you see, Coach going to walk out and just double check there on Sherman as he slid hard you know, into that fence as you see the bullpen fence down the third base line over there. And so it creates a small, small play um, there. And especially anytime you see a hard hit ball down in that direction. Yeah, that's uh, that's never fun sliding into to a fence at, at full speed. I think <laughs> he was running. He was running hard after it. Looks to be uh, shaking his legs a little bit, trying to just walk it off and Puts his hands on his hips. Coach, I'm fine. Yeah. We got we got nothing to worry about. Yeah. You know, just you always, as a coach, you want to keep an eye on that, obviously. You know, any player is going to say, hey, I want to stay in the game. I don't want to come out. Oh, 100%. Um, but, you know, the next time a ball's hitting that direction, you just watch the burst and the speed there. One-two pitch to Russo is well inside, so it's going to even the count up at two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. The ball's going to fall into the dirt. The catcher's going to find its way to first base quite easily. And that's going to round out the top of the sixth inning as the score remains 2-2 two to two as we head into the bottom of the sixth. This is Jefferson College Baseball on live stream, STO. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor of Faith Community. I want to personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10, or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. What if there was a place that could help you discover the possibilities? A place where you could find your passion, your purpose, your path. Jefferson College is that place. Law enforcement, EMT paramedic, health information technology, physical therapist assistant, the possibilities are endless. And with dedicated professors, online options, and affordable tuition, your dreams can become a reality. So what are you waiting for? Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Welcome back to Jefferson College, home of the Vikings. As we head into the bottom of the sixth inning, we see that Tate Robertson is still on the mound for the Roadrunners. So we, uh, we think there's a little bit of movement going on in the bullpen, but the Roadrunners have complete faith in Robertson here to go as far as he can and, and keep the score low for the Roadrunners. He got a shot of an energy after that last inning he pitched, being able to work himself out of a jam. You saw the 
just the emotion as he was going over to his dugout. Oh, absolutely. First pitch to Daniel Flyer, or Fleer, excuse me, is a strike right down the middle. Fleer with a couple of ground outs to his name for, for the game so far. Next pitch, ground ball down the first baseline, but that's going to find its way foul. A Master Tech Auto Glass foul ball. And quickly, down 0-2 in the count. And we can see why Robertson is still in the game. <laughs> I mean, just again, doing a great job controlling, you know, up to about 80 pitches almost. Swing and a miss on that pitch. is down in the dirt, so he gets the strikeout, and he's going to get thrown out at first as well. So not the, the greatest start to the inning for the Vikings. As up next is going to be the first baseman, Shanahan. Had himself a ground out and a single so far in this game. Looking to maybe find himself back on the base path. Maybe even knock one over the fence. Give the Vikings <laughs> their first lead of the night. Definitely be something to look forward to, right? First pitch is outside. This is going to be ball number one. You know, and Shanahan on that last hit, he did hit the ball pretty hard right back up the middle, I believe. And he does the exact same thing straight into center field. Back goes the center fielder, but he's going to make that catch quite comfortably to make it the second out of the bottom of the sixth inning. And just a good job of tracking out there by Logan Miller for the Roadrunners. I mean, that ball's hit right at you and kind of hard and on a line. Sometimes those can be hard to judge whether or not they're going to be deep or they're dying in front of you. But again, that one just kind of almost a lazy fly ball, if you will, out to center field, not having to move too much. First pitch to Henley Parker is right down Broadway for a strike. First two at-bats for Parker are strikeouts looking. So I think the last thing he's going to do is not swing at any pitches if he's got two <laughs> strikes. Next pitch is up high for a ball. Yeah, just looking to battle here, you know, again, two outs, you're getting late in this game, and so you just want to find a way on base. Next pitch is again high for ball number two. And anytime you know you got a pitcher kind of, you know, maybe upping their pitch count at this, you want to see as many pitches as you can, continue to make him work. Maybe some fatigue sets in a little bit, um, got, you know, and you get a hanger and you yeah, can do got, some damage with got it. Got more and more odds for a pitch that you're going to like. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Up high again, so that's going to be ball three, a 3-1 count in favor of the hitter, Parker. I got to think he's got uh, full permission to swing at this one if he likes it. I don't know. I mean, you've still got a pitch, and so you might want to just take one to see what you're working with. He's going to do just that and draw the walk, making me eat my words again. <laughs> uh, it's just, you know... Again, you got two outs in that situation, you know, as a hitter. The smart thing is knowing you can take a pitch here, make the pitcher work a little bit. Uh, he's been missing, missed with three consecutive pitches right there. And so, you know, if he throws one on the corner on the edge and gets the strike, you tip your cap and you get ready for the next pitch. But you see what happened there. You take one, you get on base, now you can do some damage. First pitch to Hunter Sherman is called strike. Saw a similar pitch in the top half of the inning, or maybe even last inning for Robertson is in, in the exact same spot. And <laughs> Didn't get it. Called it a ball, so right. maybe a little bit of a gray area over there. Hunter Sherman, the left fielder, he slid into the fence in the top half of this inning, but he is fighting back and takes a ball right there to even the count up at one. Yeah, and, you know, if, you, if you're Sherman, you're looking for a pitch out over the plate. You can drive in a gap here. You know, with Parker over there on first, anything in the gap, maybe even down the right field line, you're looking at scoring and getting the lead here. Pick off to first, not in time. Parker's going to be in safe comfortably. Yeah, Sherman's been able to find contact on the ball so far today. He's flown out to right field both of his previous at-bats. So the next Ooh. pitch is right back up the middle to Robertson. It's pretty soft, though. He's going to get it <laughs> to the second baseman who's going to run and tag second quite comfortably to force the third out of the inning. So we move on to the seventh inning. Your score, Roadrunners 2, Vikings 2. This is Vikings Basketball on Livestream STL. Hi, my name is Marie Stelling. I'm the Community Relations Director for Autumn Ridge Residences. We offer a vibrant senior living community conveniently located at 55 in Herculaneum. We offer three meals a day, activities and outings, housekeeping laundry is all included. 
just minutes away from doctor's offices, restaurants, and shopping. So if you or someone you know are considering senior living, please contact me, Marie Stelling, at 636-931-8400. Come see for yourself why seniors love the life they live at Autumn Ridge. Hi, this is Steve Curley at Master Tech Auto Glass. Response has been great to our new business, but remember, we're not new in the business of auto glass. We have over 20 years of experience in rock chip repair, full windshield replacement, and we also offer camera recalibration services to keep your safety features functioning properly. We're a family-owned business, and I sincerely ask that you give my wife, Amanda, and I the opportunity to earn your business. So stop in or give us a call at 636-208-0018 or check us out at mastertechautoglass.com. We're Master Tech Auto Glass, located at 104 Twin City Mall in Crystal City, Missouri. Your vehicle will be in good hands at Master Tech Auto Glass. Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your passion in business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. Back here for the seventh inning. We have a 2-2 game. And new pitcher on the mound, Kale Wilson, coming in in re relieving Mr. Tate, who had, I would say, a, a solid outing. Not too bad. Two hits and seven strikeouts with two earned runs. I'd, uh, I'd say that's pretty solid. Hey, we're getting corrected. They said one hit. And so. Um, oh, one hit. But see, hey. See, the scoreboard says two. But I know. I know. I'm with you. It's going to bring up Sam Paul there to face Wilson to start the top half of the third. We get a timeout by the umpire. He's going to look over to the dugout here for the Vikings, I think. Coach Wilson's got to need his uh, needs his little armband, his little play call sheet. That's right. Uh, yeah, Coach Bone over there giving him the the correct stuff. <laughs> I was going to say you don't want to get at this point in the game. You don't want to be mixed up on what pitches are no, coming sir. in. Don't want to expect a, a breaking ball and see <laughs> see a heater coming right down the middle. No. Don't want to to give any advantage here to the Roadrunners if you don't have to. So now we're ready. First pitch swing and line drive into left. Going to drop in front of Sherman. Lead off single there for Sam Paul and the Roadrunners. Very nice looking pitch there from Wilson. But Paul was just next level to it. He was expecting it. Puts it right down in the left field. Very hard hitting ball as well. Very yeah. nicely done. Yeah, it's going to bring Ansel to the plate here. 0 for 2 on the day. A fly out and a ground out. Squares around to bunt and takes the first pitch for a strike. So Anto looking to move the runner over at first, and that is Paul. Wilson stepping off the mound here, going to reset himself. Anto squares around, pickoff attempt over at first. Kale Wilson coming in so far. He's got one win, or excuse me, uh, one start, two losses. Ball gets behind our catcher, bounces right back to him, but it's going to allow Paul to move up to second base. Yeah, Wilson's got a, a ERA of 13 coming into today, so you got to think he's more of a, a relief pitcher anyway, but uh, definitely looking to change that. Yeah, need a good solid inning here. Uh, from him. That pitch got away from him there. So he's got a little bit of work ahead of him. 1-1 one, one count. Antle squares around again even for the pitchers. Ready. Pulls back. Going to take that one for a ball. So Antle not really waiting or hesitating to say, hey, I'm here to sacrifice and move the runner over. Squares around again. Pulls back, but we're going to take this one for a strike as well. Yeah, Count is now 2-2. Two, two. We've seen that exact spot go both ways, so if you're going to put it there, you might as well get a little lucky. We'll see if he squares around or if he's swinging away, because, again, with two strikes, you bunt it foul, you are out. Good play back there behind the plate by Stevens. Make sure that breaking ball doesn't get away. 
full count on the batter Antle. Hit right back up the middle, diving snab there by Lachance. Throws it away to first, runner's gonna scamper from third and is gonna score. And so give the Roadrunners the lead, three to two. Nice defensive play by Lachance, but comes up and makes just an, a, a poor throw, pulling the first baseman off, gets by him, and allowing Paul to score from second on the play. Yeah, like you said, that was a great diving effort there by, by the Canadian Lachance, but yeah, he, he just couldn't get him his feet underneath him as he stood up to make that throw, throw to first, and then it, it all just kind of went down the hill from there, unfortunately, as the Roadrunners are going to take the lead once again in this one. And that's going to bring Grant to the plate now. First pitch is a strike. St. Antle, he was the one that f grounded out into a double play to, to end a, the inning a few innings ago. So for, if you're the Vikings, you're looking for the exact same thing here. Pickoff attempt, not super close there. And so Antle's gonna be able to get back in. Don't know if you're gonna see him really off and running at this point, maybe just to kind of throw Wilson off. It's been a bit of a struggle so far to start the game for him. A bun attempt there by Grant. They're going to call that foul. As he didn't move, he knew it was foul, at least in his mind, he said. <laughs> but yeah, Stevens heads up just to grab the ball, tag him out just in case. But yeah, I mean, the ball went straight down, but it, I guess it must have hit the batter's foot as he was trying to leave the box. It, it was very close, but I, I could see why the catcher was wanting to tag him out there. That's right, 0-2 count. Another pickoff attempt over at first. Antel back in safely without a slide. Wilson paying a little bit of attention over there, just not wanting to get the runner or allowing the runner to get too far off of first. Another pitch outside. Nice, nice breaking ball right there by Wilson. He's going to catch Grant just looking at that one and is going to record the first out. When with you, a strikeout. Uh, when you get the batter to look at the umpire like, <laughs> really? <laughs> you know it's a great pitch. That I was mean, an insane breaking ball. And we had a good vantage point here and watching that one break. First pitch swing in there is Retone. Wilson ready for the second. Ground ball down the third baseline. It's going to be just inside the bag. Out there to Sherman. He's going to collect it. Going to hold the runner at second. And so credit Retone with a single there. So with one out here in the top of the seventh, runners on first and second. And Wilson again finding himself in a little bit of a jam, needing a ground ball double play. Yeah, we've got the, got the one out on the strikeout by Tanner Grant, so a double play does end the inning. But uh, two runners on, on base here. For Logan Miller, who's been a uh, been a little bit of a nuisance on in the batter's box so far. Yeah, one for three on the day, a single early to start the game, uh, fly out and then strike out, swinging in his last at bat, and so getting ahead in the count here after taking the first pitch outside. Another ball in the outer half. Ball getting away from our catcher there. Gonna be a wild pitch, gonna allow both runners to move up. Fortunately for Stevens there, that ball just happened to bounce right back to him after it hit the backstop. So he was in no real rush or, or worry about potentially throwing someone out or having to play at the plate, but still not a great, great outcome. And we're gonna get a, a pitching change here as we see coach come out, signal to the bullpen. And so 
Mr. Ray, you have anything for us, or are we going to keep it right here and no, just we'll, – We'll give a, a quick shout-out here real quick before we go to break here to our great friends over at Pasta House, Texas Roadhouse, Case and Bucks, Grove and Pub. If you haven't checked out our local sports here, brought to you by us here at Livestream STL, definitely check that out. And we'll step aside here as we have a pitching change. We'll be right back. This is Vikings softball – or baseball on Livestream STL. At Girardi Agency Missouri Farm Bureau, we're dedicated to safeguarding your present and securing your future. Whether it's auto, home, life, health, or business insurance, we offer comprehensive coverage tailored to your needs. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Our office has been located in Hillsboro for over 30 years. Please contact our office today for a quote, 636-797-5800. The Breeze Dental Care Team consists of dedicated individuals who are caring, kind, and friendly. Our staff is here to ensure a pleasant experience during your visit to our office. Our team includes experienced and energetic people whose goal it is to communicate well with our patients and provide the best care possible. Providing preventative, restorative, and cosmetic care, schedule a visit by calling 636-937-3030 or find us on the web at breezedentalcare.com. Hey, I'm Josh, lead pastor of Faith Community. I want to personally invite you to join my family and me on Easter Sunday. We'll have music and a great program for your kids to enjoy. We'll also talk about who Jesus is and why that matters to you and I as we celebrate this meaningful day together. So join us in person or online at 8.30, 10, or 11.30 on Easter morning. You can get all the details and directions at faithcommunity.co. Wherever you're at on your journey, you are welcome here at Faith Community. Discover the possibilities at Jefferson College. Find your passion in business, foreign language, precision machining technology, and physical therapist assistant. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. now on the mound for the Jefferson Vikings coming in in relief of Mr. Wilson. A bit of a struggle so far uh, here, only getting through a third of an inning, uh, giving up one run, you know, an unearned run at that. But, um, you know, his responsibility was a runner on base and now has a runner on second and third. And so Mr. Cato looking to shut down this Roadrunners offense with bases loaded, excuse me. Yeah, they decided to intentionally walk Logan Miller there to load the bases up, I guess, just trying to make sure you got a, a double play opportunity to get out of the inning here. That brings up Wimberley. Quickly down in the count, 0-2. So Cato doing his job to this point, but you're exactly right, Mr. Drake, just trying to get a ground ball double play, get out of the inning here. There's your ground ball over to first. Going to come home, going to get the force at home, keep the run off the board so just a good heads up play over there by Shanahan ball wasn't hit extremely hard so it was going to be tough to turn to and so just just a very baseball heavy baseball IQ there to get the runner and the force out at home yeah very heads up play very smart play only one out on the play but no harm done ball gets away from our catcher is going to allow the runner to score and so the road runners are going to attack on there uh, it was a little bit of a, a wild pitch from Cato. Stevens not able to handle it back there. It's going to move the runners up. Why right does I say no harm done as well? <laughs> it happens. It happens. Foul ball there. Mr. Carter Jenkins at the plate. Pitch taken upstairs. It'll get it. Pitch on the outer half, not called. Again, just kind of in that, that little gray area that the, the umpires kind of 
established throughout this one, giving some, not giving others. <laughs> Ground ball over to shortstop Lachance, over to first, and that is going to retire the side. But the Roadrunners do push across two, take a 4-2 lead as we head to the bottom of the seventh. You're watching Vikings baseball on live stream, STO. Hi, my name is Marie Stelling. I'm the Community Relations Director for Autumn Ridge Residences. We offer a vibrant senior living community conveniently located at 55 in Herculaneum. We offer three meals a day, activities and outings, housekeeping laundry is all included. Just minutes away from doctor's offices, restaurants and shopping. So if you or someone you know are considering senior living, please contact me, Marie Stelling at 636-931-8400. Come see for yourself why seniors love the life they live at Autumn Ridge. Hi, this is Steve Curley at Master Tech Auto Glass. Response has been great to our new business, but remember, we're not new in the business of auto glass. We have over 20 years of experience in rock chip repair, full windshield replacement, and we also offer camera recalibration services to keep your safety features functioning properly. We're a family-owned business, and I sincerely ask that you give my wife, Amanda, and I the opportunity to earn your business. So stop in or give us a call at 636-208-0018 or check us out at mastertechautoglass.com. We're Master Tech Auto Glass, located at 104 Twin City Mall in Crystal City, Missouri. Your vehicle will be in good hands at Master Tech Auto Glass. Welcome back here, bottom of the seventh. Vikings find themselves trailing by two runs. Joe Siervo up, takes ball one on the first pitch, followed by a strike there on the second pitch. Uh, and when you find yourself trailing by two, Drake, you need your early runners to get on base here. Yeah, especially having the top of the lineup come up here in the bottom of the seventh, uh, it being the first of a doubleheader. This is a seven inning game, so this is it right here for him. So gotta, gotta strike early when you can. Ball taken inside there. Three one count. Oh, flips the bat thinking that was a little low and outside. Umpire says, no, sir, you're gonna have to come back and get that one. As he calls that for strike two. Full count. This one taken inside, and so Siervo's gonna head down to first. Good start here for the Vikings. Lead off batter on. It's going to bring Greg Lachance up. Yeah, not exactly what you're looking for for new pitcher Dar Dawson Torpy in relief for Robertson. First pitch, check swing, bouncer over to second base. Not going to have a play at second, but is going to get Lachance over at first to record the first out of the bottom of the seventh. Not really looking to swing at that kind of a half-hearted check swing, but it does move the runner. Uh, but you were looking maybe to hit something a little bit harder there. Yeah, he pulled out of the swing halfway through, and it just so happened to hit his bat as he was check swinging. So a little unfortunate, but at least it was not a double play. You see the first pitch, maybe outside, maybe? Call the ball at least. That's right. I mean, they're calling it a ball, and so, you know, it just is what it is. Breaking ball inside for the second pitch there. Pitcher behind a 2-0 count early. Ball taken up and in right there. Stevens didn't even flinch. That one was up and in. I think that baseball was about a half a centimeter above his helmet, and I don't even think he blinked. So Torpe behind 3-0. Going to get the inside corner there. Make it 3-1. And Stevens kind of looked back and... I think that one might have grazed his knuckles there for a little bit. Going to call a timeout, kind of collect himself for a moment. And again, not crowding the plate, but up on the plate. Good breaking ball in by Torpe there for strike two. Yeah, very nicely done for him to battle back. And after going 3-0 down to bring it back to a full count. Steven swinging at another breaking ball out in the way is going to get him for out number two here in the bottom of the seventh. And so with one out remaining, it's going to bring Cole Ian Tomasi up to the plate. 
need a bed. Then I did the minute check. Now you definitely need some hits here and runners on. First pitch going to be taken on the outer half for a strike. Ball on the inner half there. Looking like a bit of a slider there from Torpe a little bit. Another one on the outer half there for strike two. And so the Vikings finding themselves down to their last strike. Trailing 4-2 here in the bottom of the seventh. Foul ball down the right field side. Almost, you know, if it wasn't for the fence, almost into the dugout there of the Roadrunners. Yeah, got to be looking out over there. Ball down in the dirt. Good block there by Antle. Keep in. Servo at second base for the time being. And Torpe looking to close this one out. He's already got a save to his name, looking to double that tally and get the win for the Roadrunners in the first of a doubleheader. Another ball down in the dirt on the outer half. Good pick again by our catcher. And again for the third batter of the inning here is a full count. This ball is driven into right center field. Center fielder on it, calls it off right at the fence, is going to make the catch, and that is going to be your ball game. 4-2 State Fair Roadrunners over the Jefferson Vikings here in game number one. Thank you so much for watching. This is Vikings Baseball on live stream STL. And we'll wrap this up real quick here as we come back here real quick, guys. Uh, you know, just a couple of... Uh, Couple of interest, interesting situations where uh, you know set two runs on seven hits for the for the Vikings, but uh, you know only two runs to show for it here. Um, I know they were probably looking for a sweep since they swept them up at uh, State Fair, but uh, you know now now you're taking a look. Hey, look, we've got to take three or four here in Game Two, which comes back here in about 30 minutes. Right. Yeah. Just tough. Some misplays. Uh, you know, some balls getting away. Some unfortunate errors really come back to cost you in this game when your bats just aren't there. There you have it. There you are. Final score, four two. Uh, we'll be back here in about thirty minutes here. So give us uh, uh, a chance to restart the new uh, stream. We'll have that over on Facebook, YouTube, and uh, also over on the Jefferson College Athletics page. So for Ray Halbrook, for Drake Beekman, for. Brian Kaplinger, all of us here at Livestream STL will be back in about 30 minutes on Vikings Baseball. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching today's broadcast. Any unauthorized use of this broadcast without the express written consent of Livestream STL is strictly prohibited.